The Salt Lake City International Airport Wildlife Division, yes, there is one of those, is investigating yesterday's emergency landing of the plane carrying the Utah Jazz because of several bird strikes. New at 5.30, Fox 13 Spencer Joseph spoke with the team doing that investigation and reports on the work they do to prevent bird strikes. On the north side of the airport, far away from any runway, sits a bird cage. Inside, several different species of birds. Um, house sparrows, and it looks like we may even have a red-winged blackbird in there. All a part of mitigation efforts to prevent birds like these from hitting an aircraft, taking off, or landing. The, the whole key is to use a, a myriad of techniques. So they'll land on that perch and then can get caught. Candice Davila is the Salt Lake Airport wildlife manager, and it's her job to protect the flying public. You always have to vary what you're doing. And as for yesterday's incident. Sobering. Uh, being the wildlife manager, obviously we see, uh, I don't want to say every day, but we do see strikes regularly. But this one was, was significant. Um, it's probably uh, some of the more significant damage that we've seen probably in the last 10 to 11 years. And investigating when things go wrong is also a part of her job. So just based on the evidence that we have now, it was about three miles out. Um, we don't have a species yet. Um, we've actually taken feather samples and, and DNA samples from different places on the aircraft. Back at their shop, Davila showed us some of the bigger specimens. Red tail hawk, this is swoop, a pretty typical size. She's probably, I'm going to say she's female. A bird like this could cause serious damage. This one was caught yesterday, and it's already being released back into the wild, away from the airport. Most likely. Uh, a third or fourth year bird, it's an adult bird. So whether it's birds, big or small, or even other animals, yesterday's incident is a reminder that nature is all around us. And that's why this team is here. Public protection and uh, the public safety is our num number one priority. So once their team determines what species of bird it is, they can do some very specific mitigation efforts to make sure a plane like that one taking off doesn't hit a flock of birds like what happened yesterday. At Salt Lake International Airport, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah. It is a tall order. You know where Salt Lake City International is. Right next to the Great Salt Lake, it is between two huge migratory bird routes. Utah considered a hot spot for bird migration.